according to your knowledge and your will for me what you say you have done i just need to align you because you are not the man changes your mind oh. i that know you i'll trust in you not in horses and chariots hi 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 good afternoon guys welcome back again to my channel today i want to be showing you how to make vegetable stew and here i'm using goat's meat yes and that is goat's meat seasoning powder yes i'm just using goat's meat and fish so i steamed this meat with curry powder thyme onion Yes, these are basically the things I use and that's Napa goat seasoning powder. I'll just stir it a little bit then I'll add a little water, allow it to combine and cover it to boil. Welcome back again to my channel. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome. Feel free to join the family by clicking on the subscribe button. So subscribe is absolutely free. Support my channel by giving this video a thumbs up, share us out so that other people can see our video in your platform and watch. And guys, look at the juiciness of this meat. Yummy. So I'm just going to fry the fish yes fry the fish before frying the goat's meat then the cooking will begin i used terra oil yes terra oil is a soya oil so that's what i use you can use any oil of your choice yeah i'm using terra oil so i'll just fry my fish allow it to fry properly i do not put the egg because frying fish eh, is hard it's stressful because of the splashing splashing so i do not put the egg We'll be frying like this until we have money to buy a fryer <laughs> when we have a fryer hey we'll stop frying fish but for now i'll just fry my fish if you have air fryer you can use your air fryer to fry your fish and that will be perfectly fine so yeah i'm just all i did was just use salt yes i used only salt on the fish before frying i didn't add any other seasoning to it i just added salt i allowed it to settle inside before i started frying the fish and here the fish is ready i'll just pack it out and i'll be using the same granite way to fry the goat meat so guys i'm just going to be adding the goat meat to this same granite way that i used in frying the fish yes oh this looks so good like at this point everything was already scenting and giving what it's supposed to give the flavor from good eh? hi is hundred percent yummy 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 and at this point the goat meat is ready well fried not dried mm, not very very dried yes if you want to fry up make sure it's not very 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 dry so this is what it looks like so yeah i didn't use that same granite oil again i put fresh granite oil into my pot i don't want that granite oil yes it's already too flavorful so i'm not using it i added onions and garlic mm -hmm. that was what i sliced and poured then I added my curry powder and thyme so that all the flavor, yummy goodness can enter into the granite oil. Yeah. So I'm using tomato paste, very little quantity to give it that red color. Yes, that is why I'm using a little tomato paste. So if you want to use, do yours, if you want to prepare yours, just use little quantity of tomato paste. Yep. So you allow it to fry a little bit once it is dried you add your steamed fresh tomatoes and pepper yes i've already cooked this one fresh tomato and pepper that is the combination i have there with onions so after allowing it to fry i'll just add the add the meat stock to the stew allow it to fry a little turn 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 then i'll just cover it so that it can boil properly 
after it has boiled for like five minutes i'm just going to add my lasso fish season at this point if you want to add crayfish you can add crayfish but i don't want that crayfish taste inside this one so i did add i added lasso fish seasoning and i just added my seasoning cube yes make sure you add your meat stock before adding any seasoning powder or your seasoning cube so that you to avoid excess sweetness yes always add your meat stock before adding seasoning cube so here i'm just adding the goat meat so that everything can just steam up together Mm -hmm. Look at that. The stew is already given. Yummy, yummy, yummy goodness. At this point, you have watched this part of this video and you have not given us a thumbs up. Guys, like our video, support our channel, be cool. Support us, share our video eh? to family and friends so that we can watch this beautiful recipe. So, guys, isn't it giving? The stew is already giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm just going to, and that is a thumbs up to tell you that the stew is tasting perfect. Mm -hmm. So I will just turn it a little, cover it, and allow it to cook up a little bit. Look at that. The oil is already at the top, meaning the stew is ready. And we are going to add our leaf. This is pumpkin leaf, also called ugu leaf. Yes, pumpkin leaf is the English name. Ugu leaf is the local name, I guess. Yes, this leaf is a, bit, a little bit strong. It does not melt easily. That's why I'm using this pumpkin leaf. After adding, I'll cover it to steam up a little. Then I will now stay. Ah, um, this too. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is yummy. At this point, everywhere was already sinking, giving what it's supposed to give, hundred percent. If nobody scores me, I go score myself. This is 100 over 100. No minus. Addition. If possible, add 102. Mm -hmm. So I just added the remaining pumpkin leaf to it. And our stew is already. Mm -hmm. Guys, like my video, drop your comment, ask a question, and I will be there in the comment section to answer you. And the fish is the last protein that is going to be entering our vegetable stew oh my goodness look at that look at that ah our stew is ready as you can see the oil is already at the top that is to tell you that your stew is ready we will not allow it to stay too long yes so that our vegetable will not be overcooked we will not allow it to stay too long guys see that I beg, I shall be cook. If you, in fact, if you are looking for stew to prepare, eh, on Sunday, just try this one. This one tastes so good. Hundred over hundred, you are going to love it. Like you are going to love it. And I paired this with white rice. You can use a spaghetti to eat it. You can use the yam. Name it anything of your choice, guys. This tastes so good. You can eat it with everything anything yeah but mine i saved it with a plate of white rice can you see that can you see that guys i just hope you enjoyed watching this video i just hope you learned one or two from this video thanks for watching until we meet again in our next video remain blessed and god bless you kisses on your beautiful cheeks